Panasonic TXEX750B Review, the best 4K HDR TV for the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro. If you're after a big TV that comes in under £1,000 that feels ideal for gaming, the Panasonic TXEX750B range may well be for you. Panasonic is marketing the TV range as the perfect fit for gamers keen to get the most out of their new HDR and 4K capable consoles, and with good reason. We reviewed the 50 model of the TV, the TX50X750B, available right now for as little as £850, but there are also two other sizes available. The 65-inch version, the TX65X750B, at £1,899 and the 58-inch model, the TX58X750B, available at £1,349. The TV's main selling point is the way it processes color. The EX750 makes use of Panasonic's new Studio Master HCX2 processing system which the brand claims is the most powerful processing unit yet. The result is a TV that uses a professional grade 3D lookup table for color reproduction, which means the colors you see in games are as close as possible to what the developers originally wanted you to see. You really couldn't task for anything better when playing on your PS4 Pro or Xbox One X but there are a few caveats to getting the TV to display color as well as it can. You can take a look at the TV's main features in the gallery below, but keep reading for our full review of this marvelous face-melting 4K TV set. Panasonic TXEX750B HDR The colors the TXEX750B manages to produce are rich and vibrant, and really make HDR-enabled games sing. We played Call of Duty, Wii and Assassin's Creed, Origins on our new Xbox One X for the most part whilst testing the machine and it dealt with the earthy tones of COD sublimely, you could pick out enemy soldiers in camouflage with ease thanks to the sharpness and fidelity of the color. The TV's color reproduction capability also resulted in Assassin's Creed, Origins exotic Egyptian vistas really popping on screen, the greens of the more natural areas were verdant and clear. And the sand of the deserts was also proven to show in remarkably high quality. To get the best results from the TV, however, you need to dig around in the settings a little. Initially, we found the TV inconsistent in its picture quality, you jump into a loading screen, for example, and find the middle of the image was more vibrant than the edges of the screen. For gaming specifically, we found setting the TV to dynamic was far better, on dynamic, with the TV's adaptive dimming turned to max, you get a TV that has the capability to display pure whites against deep blacks with minimal blooming, striping and hallowing. This is important in games that rely on stealth elements, for example, The Evil Within 2's dark horror tones worked very well on the TV, its overall dark palette offset wonderfully by the inky white elements it introduces. The TV worked very well with this, the unit is a superb all-rounder for every type of game. For an LCD TV, the color and backlight are fantastic, 
The colors are never washed out, they were never wan or pale. The digitally enhanced local dimming really makes a difference and set the TV apart from its sub-pound 2,000 LCD rivals. Panasonic TXEX750B designed something odd that also works in the TV's favor is its weight, the unit is remarkably heavy, and sturdy to boot. This points to the machine being composed of high-quality components, but you old not know that to look at it. Aesthetically, this TV is thin and sleek. The screen is a deep black that isn't too reflective, ideal for gaming in low light or in the middle of the day, and when the unit is mounted on the interestingly designed cross stand, it can be rotated to suit a variety of viewing angles. The smaller size TVs in the range can also be adjusted for height. We were comfortable using this TV whilst sat on a sofa, a bar stool and even a bin bag nestled on the floor. It's surprisingly versatile. Whilst the cross stand takes up a surprising amount of room, it's an elegant solution for TV owners that aren't too keen on wall mounting the heavy TV. The flexibility of viewing angle once mounted is also a nice change from the norm, so many TVs in this market require positioning on units that fix you to one specific angle. The EX750B, despite that cross stand, is much more space friendly as a result. Panasonic TXEX750B for gaming Another key aspect of the TXEX750 is how it deals with input lag. Input lag is a killer in HDR TVs, it can be the difference between winning and losing a game of Street Fighter V or getting outgunned in Destiny 2. The TXEX750 manages to completely mitigate that problem, when turned to the game preset, you'll notice a delay of less than roughly 10 ms. That's a far smaller delay than you'll see in other HDR sets, and makes this range of TVs absolutely perfect for gaming. The delay still exists, but that's the problem with using HDR. If you're playing something offline, that perhaps doesn't require instant reflexes, Assassin's Creed, The Witcher et al., would recommend turning the picture to dynamic and turning the adaptive dimming to medium. This will result in the best images for truly amazing HDR image quality, but it does create more lag. For online gaming. The game setting will see you right, the lag is barely noticeable and whilst it may not provide the face melting quality you'd see in other settings, it's still remarkably impressive. Panasonic TXEX750B Verdict This is a remarkable gaming TV. The backlight tech hidden in its dense frame is incredible, it offers highly detailed shadows and darker tones without succumbing to that old LCD problem of halo bloom and cloudiness. Whatever technical wizardry Panasonic has created to make the adaptive dimming work so well manages to propel this TV from good to great. OLED TVs may be all the rage as far as HDR goes, but for a TV you can dedicate to, almost, lag-free gaming, you'll be pushed to do worse than the TXEX750 range. Intelligently designed, technically astounding and aesthetically pleasing, this TV is an impressive beast, 
and one we can recommend to owners of PS4 Pros and Xbox One Xs that want to make the most out of their souped-up new consoles.